It's Ken Gagney with YouTube channel Game Bits with two, two, two unboxings in one. First we have Retro Magazine, and second we have Boss Fight Books, Earthbound. Both were purchased on Kickstarter. I was backers of these projects. This one in November 2013, this one in July 2013, and they both arrived in January, February. So here I am to finally open them. Which one do you want me to open first? Let's start with the magazine. Looks like it'll require a little bit less effort to start. Now this is not to be confused with Retro Gamer Magazine out of the UK, an entirely different publication. And a long storied one and an excellent one in which I have been interviewed. This one, however, is brand new. So it has Mighty Number no. 9 right on the cover, another Kickstarter project. Very meta, sort of a snake eating a snake. Let's see. So this is issue number one, 599, readretro.com. Beautiful cover, nice glossy feel to it. And just like any other magazine, you open it right up and there are the ads. Oh yeah, I can't get past those. Print publications are still mostly ad driven, not subscription driven, even if it is Kickstarter funded. So there we have a letter from the editor, Mr. Mike Kennedy. Hello, Mike. And here's the team, Brandon Justice, David Giltnian, and Mark Kaminsky. And on the table of contents, we have Retro Nation, Retro Features, Retro Feed, Retro Active, Retro Grade, Retro Recollection, Retro Ranch, Retro High Five, and Interview. Okay, one of these things is not like the others. Now, I'm not going to go through, through this page by page. I just want to give you a general idea of what this magazine looks like and feels like. Here's a list of uh, links that they like online, different places to go to get your retro gamer fix. So this magazine, unlike Retro Gamer, which is mostly a look at old games, this magazine is mostly a look at old games, like the Battle of Olympus, and certainly games that have an old inspiration, like Mighty Number no. 9, which is an obvious homage to Mega Man. All the pages have a glossy, stiff quality to them that I like. They're, I, they all pretty much feel like the cover, actually. It's rare to see that level of quality continue on the inside. Here are some Kickstarter projects, including Cosmic Star Heroine, Heroine sorry, by Zavoid Games, who made Cthulhu Saves the World. Killer Instinct for the Xbox One, 17 years on the shelf, rares 90s arcade hit, Killer Instinct makes its return. Strider, so these are all pretty new games that are coming out. I'm sorry, this is not a new Strider, this is the 1990 Strider. Retro Rants, Retro Regrets. <laughs> Bill and Ted's excellent video game adventure is more bogus than excellent. I think the angry video game nerd would agree with that. The Six Strangest Video Game Crimes. Hey, there's Mappy. I remember Mappy. Sean Baby vs. The World. And some comics in the back. Fun. Uh, Brian Fargo of In Exile, another Kickstarter project, Wasteland 2, coming out later this year, 2014. And thanks to all our Kickstarter backers. Now, as I already said, full disclosure, I am among the backers. Is my name on here? Well, it doesn't look to be in a alphabetical order by first or last name. So I will have to take a look for that later. Eh. All right. So that's Retro, not Retro Gamer. Now that you've seen me open this, let's open the book. Now these are all the original packagings in which these came. I've done no prior opening or unpackaging or repackaging. So let's tear this bad boy open. Earthbound. That is the first of seven volumes. I believe Chrono Trigger is going to be one of the next ones coming out in April. I don't know if it's the next one, but it's one of the next ones. And this is a full analysis and look at Earthbound, not just its history, but also its implications, its inspirations. And it's not a strategy guide, it's not how to play the game. 
Each book is written by a different author. This one is Mr. By Ken Bauman. There we go, a little bit more focus there. And Earthbound. Earthbound. Poor Scott. Forward. Huh, 1990X. So, uh, huh. This is much more text heavy than I expected. One of the other backers I know got a PDF version of this instead of the hardcover. That was one of the other rewards. And he was disappointed when he received just a plain text version as a PDF. He thought he was missing all the images and graphics that came in the hardcover. But this is actually what it is. So he was not gypped. This is what you get. Now again, I don't have time to do a full analysis of the contents of this book. You can follow me on goodreads.com for that once I do eventually read this book. But I'm surprised by, let's see, the lack of table of contents, the lack of an index. This will take some time to wrap my head around exactly what this book is. How much does it retail for? $14.95. It is quality material. Now you can slip this in your backpack and not worry about it getting banged up or ripped. Other books coming out include Galaga, ZZT, Super Mario Bros. 2 by a gentleman who teaches at Emerson College, as do I. Jagged Alliance 2 by an alumnus of WPI, as am I. And Chrono Trigger. So there are five more books that I'll be getting in the mail. I think there, I also backed it at the level that I would get a seventh book. So that is Earthbound by Ken Bauman. Number one. There you go, right there. So perhaps not a book that lends itself well to an unboxing because of its nature and its content. But I am looking forward to reading this. Earthbound is one of my favorite RPGs from the 16-bit era. And I spoke with the founder of Starman.net a while back for a feature story I wrote on how we can get Mother 3 to come to the United States, similar to how Operation Rainfall got other RPGs to come to the Wii. And so anything that keeps Earthbound in the public consciousness is a good thing, in my opinion. It's a game worthy of being remembered and played and replayed and getting some darn sequels finally. Gee whiz. All right. So that's Earthbound and that is Retro. If you want to see me unbox one of them again, go ahead and click on that if you have your annotations turned on. But in the meantime, thank you for watching this unboxing of some Kickstarter funded video game literature. I hope you enjoyed.